Just a reminder that Rising Damp is back on Plus every weeknight at 10. <laughs> yes, take your business. Up, what's that? You met me in hospital? What's your name? How could you spell that? Oh, oh. Hello, mother. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? No. Please yourself. <laughs> And now over to Richard Baker with the news. Who ain't sure of? Today, Mr. Pompidou, the great girl's blows. Uh, <laughs> he flew in for a top-level consummation with Mr. Heath. Uh, Richard Baker. Richard! Oh. I can't do him. <laughs> Hiya. My name's Two Gun Rocco. I have two guns because one don't shoot so far. <laughs> And well do I remember the occasion when a perverse destiny forced me to accept the humble position of dog catcher in a very small town. Finally, they discharged me. They had to. I caught the dog. <laughs> How does that grab you? Come back! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh, oh. I've got a hair up my nose. I think it's a rabbit hole. Oh, oh, oh. I fell also his doctors. Oh, oh, oh. also his doctors. I said, Doctor, I'll spray my ankle. What should I do? He said, Limp. That was a missile thrush. Now, who would like a lark? I would, honey, but I'd probably kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I was guest of honor at a particularly lavish function. I began the evening toasting everyone with punch. An hour later, I was punching everyone with toast. <laughs> but Lancaster. Hi. Brothers, sisters, you're nobody till somebody loves you. Mr. Rex Harrison. And you're nobody till somebody cares. You may be king, you may possess the world and all its gold, but gold will bring you happiness when you're growing old. Permission to speak, sir? Yes, well, this is Mr. Paul Jones. Well, you see, sir, I like someone to finish this song. A young man I admire very much, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Whoa, Mr. Tommy Steele. Oh, let him carry on. The world still is a sign. You'll never change it. As sure as a star shine above. You're now body till somebody Bishop wants to know what we all did before we joined the clergy. <laughs> oh, how very strange. <laughs> when I was little, I used to pose for baby powder adverts. What, with a face like yours? My face had very little to do with the death. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've all seen this, uh, the, the film Shane, starring Alan Ladd and Ted Loon. Uh, no, um, Alan Ladd and uh, Jack Palance. I'd like to show you just a little small 
Not big. Just a little piece from this film where Jack Palance comes in to Shane and it anyway, it goes like this. Thank you. <laughs> Count three, go for your gun. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> I lied about three. Don't talk to me about beauty problems. <laughs> they do nothing for you. No, I can say that without fear of contraception. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to uh, I went to beauty parlor the other day, and they said when we when we have finished with you, you will feel completely renovated. <laughs> so I said, what what are you going to do? And they said, well, first first we are going to spray your face all over with toilet water commonly known as water of the toilet <laughs> <laughs> and then they said you you are going to have your face lifted but when they found out what was underneath they dropped it again <laughs> i recently purchased a brand new suit that fits me like a glove yes has four trouser legs and one sleeve <laughs> <laughs> Blame it all. My name's Pete. Fair cock. I come here tonight. Try a poem. As I work this morning, when all things bright were born, a little bird came on my cell to hurl a cubby ball. I did so like his little song in his breast, so red, so I pulled down the window and crushed his bloody head. Come on, boys. I'd just like to caution you about the kind of rowdy behaviour we had last year. A group of troublemakers climbed to the top of the school and hung something quite obscene on the flagpole. Me. <laughs> You're my favourite impression. Mm -hmm. What's Al Jolson. I can't do Al Jolson. I don't even sound like Al Jolson. No problem. I can do it. And you, the mi you do the mime to it. Why well, do the mime to it? Yeah. It's a good idea. Mr. Conductor, play my song. Yesterday I heard a lover sigh. Goodbye, oh me am I Seven times he climbed aboard his train And seven times he hurried back to kiss his love again And tell her, tut tut tut, say don't cry But tut tut, say goodbye That she just rain that takes me Away from you, the working towels that it takes me Gives me dirty and then Do it over again Watch for the mail if you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Touch, 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 you don't cry. Well, if I touch it, grab on. As I was saying before I was so unfunnily interrupted, this morning I was so pleased to see my little nephew Rollo with his nose glued in a book of fairy tales. I know because I glued it there myself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
fateful winter of 89, when to raise the price of a quart of vintage cough medicine, I sold a buffalo skin to a naked buffalo. What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 What is it, Holmes? Let us have tea in my chambers. Oh, it's all the same to you, Holmes. I'd rather have a cup. <laughs> 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 A little postie card which says, I have listened to your program. I have listened but in vain. Please, could I hear the voice of Miss Cleo Lane? Well, it is. When the skies are free and you see you are blue, I'll make the sun come sliding through. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy. So I made you have a too I wanna be happy but I can't be happy So I made you happy too Danger, danger Fish committing suicide. <laughs> the Benny Hill Show, tonight at 8 on Plus. Approaching a big name bank for a loan isn't as daunting as it sounds. Just pick up the phone and dial direct loans at the Royal Bank of Scotland for a decision in minutes. Our rates keep coming down with a £10,000 loan at just 8.9% APR, which would mean you pay £247 a month. A direct loan can be used for virtually anything, even to clear your existing borrowings. And you don't need to have an account with us to enjoy the speed and convenience of dealing direct. So, to get what you need tomorrow, get on the line today. Call free on 0800 121 125. Call our chat and date line today and you could find your dream date. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. Call the virtual chat and date line. It's a great way to make friends on the phone. Get straight in on the action and call 0906 20 20 20 20. So go on, get in there. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. That's 0906 20 20 20 20. Call now. This could mean days without heat, endless phone calls, expensive repairs, or it could mean a single phone call to British Gas. Avoid the nightmare of a heating breakdown with British Gas Central Heating Cover. Call 0845 609 4000 now. Two little boys had two little toys. Each had a wooden horse. Gaily they played. Honey nut shredded wheat. The pure honey and crunchy nuts over crispy shredded wheat bites make them so One delicious. Little chap then had a mishap. Bro you just won't want to share them. Honey nut shredded wheat. Two moreish to share. Hey, Kuchiko. Kotak, tonight at nine on Plus, home of TV hits. Who loves you? Son has he got? Son has he got? Son has he got? As judge of this court, I have no option but to hold Ernie Wise in contempt. But no, Ernie Wise isn't even in the courtroom. That doesn't stop me holding the twit in contempt. <laughs> Sugar? Yes. How many lumps? 308. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, do I remember the fateful summer of 88 when I became obsessed with gold fever? You have all doubtless heard of the famous lost mine of the Yukon? Well, I'm the man that lost it. <laughs> I'm Rocky Torelli, public enemy number one. I'm pretty tough. Mm -hmm. The other day, a cop hit me over the head with a truncheon, and a big lump came up on the truncheon. <laughs> the 
Billy Eckstein. Here I go again. I hear the trumpets blow again. I'm on the road again, taking a chance on love. Here I slide again. I'll take that ride again. I'm starry eyed again, taking a chance on love. Sinatra. <laughs> I walk around with a horseshoe. I never would try. Brother Rabbit, of course, you. You better kiss your foot goodbye. <laughs> Anthony Newlet. <laughs> They will not fall again. I'm right for a fall again. What can I do? I lay your love. This gin and tonic's all tonic and no dreaded gin. Could you put another splash in the vessel? Sure, sure. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Still a certain lack of equilibrium. Could you restore the balance? Yeah, sure. Okay. Try it again, will you? Try it again. Ah, yes. I still detect a certain lack of symmetry in the proportion of the ingredient. <laughs> Here I whip again. I'm gonna take that whip again. I got that whip again. I'm taking a chance on. John Sutherland. <laughs> I walk around with a horseshoe. I have a one try off. And brother Babbitt, of course, you. You better kill Shar, but good boy. Sammy Davis. I'm in the fight again. I'm riding for a fight again. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. Could you inject a bit more glass into the tonic? No oh, wish is my command, sir. Who's working you? <laughs> Don't get shashy with me, you have the cowboy. <laughs> There's still too much symmetry in the equilibrium. Give me some more proportion in the gin, will you? You say when? Yeah, I'll do it. When, when, when? What are you trying to do, Roman? <laughs> listen, kid, Teddy, baby, listen. You did okay as a fighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I could have been a contender, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. I could have had class instead of just being a bum oh. like I am. Listen, you saw some money, kid, remember? Real money. <laughs> After your first fight, you were even able to give your girlfriend a necklace. Sure. It was my teeth strung together. <laughs> <laughs> I took a 
girl last night. It was terrible. She was using four-letter words all night. Don't, won't, can't. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sing a song. Do a few impressions of some of the turns who've been singing this song. Clubland's National Anthem. And the club's right now. My way. Max Bygraves. And now, the end is near. <laughs> and so I face the final two. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case. Of which I'm certain. Dorothy Squires. Have you? Life is good, I've traveled here, and every highway has won much more than this. I did it my <laughs> way. 203, 204, 205, 206, 7, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212. Why, you Sullivan? You, you're not only a Sullivan, you're a Montebank. Put some more Sullivan in the Montebank at once, will you, before I beat the living? Come on. Uh. Where's your more? That's what I said. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm trying to add. That's it, get them warm. We're achieving the recipe, my good man. Just a little more glass in the mountain bank, and a mere kiss of the wish and the command. <laughs> <laughs> budgie, budgie. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a naughty boy, budgie. What you mean, Charlie? You've been taking the wrong people, Budgie. Any more of this, Budgie, and you'll bounce, and not with health. <laughs> wait for a laugh, Budgie, wait for a laugh. <laughs> wait for a long time, Ian. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, Budgie, you've been a little singing bird, Budgie, a little singing bird. Ah, ah, Jimla. I don't want the money. It's something else I want, Budgie. It's what something you, else. What do you want, Sean? Sing, Budgie, sing! Okay. What do you want if you don't want money? What do you want if you don't want a car? What do you want and I hear it's a car? Which do you want to keep my love tightly? Now, which do you want to my love, Charlie? Want to tell your friends? Want to tell you? Want to tell you for a Bucky Bird? Let's hear it for Bucky Bird. Johnny Cash. I planned each shot, of course. <laughs> each careful step on the highway. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. Gracie Fields. Deputy Dog. And now with you to challenge me. I thank you. Show him your G. 303, 304, 305, 6, 307, 308. There you are. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Have you got a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> no! My girdle's killing me. Budgie, Budgie. Come on, Budgie, let's hear from you. What have you got to say, Budgie? What have you got to say? I'm sick, sick, sick of Jamea. <laughs>
stand by for Bob Todd, Henry McGee, Jack Wright and the man himself on the Betting Plus, home of T.